Hello fellow weirdos. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to play Lifeless Moon with me. Also, why am I here? I was just on the other side of the town. I guess I quit the main menu by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I went to ah! Now I need to run all the way back. Oh, maybe we, s we should find some minerals there. Also, is this my imagination or is this a trench around town? Let's kill the light. I like the shadows here. Uh, what is the light source, by the way? The sun? Could be a very low sun. Oh, what do we have here? A mailbox. Uh, is this something I can interact with? No. Okay. <gasps> yep. So this is this is where I was. I'm gonna run across these uh, rocks in case. They are minerals to be discovered. Whee! Oh, we can go in here, can't we? So, this light. Ah, these are these are not waypoints. These are just actual lights. Okay. So yeah, in the previous episode, the first one, uh, I found myself dumped on the moon. Yoink, okay, note. And I reminisced about uh, the predecessor of this game, the lifeless planet, which I came to enjoy quite a bit. And I also have a playthrough of it somewhere in my archives. It was several years ago, so I don't remember exactly. Ooh. Sabotage. Okay, this is this is the transmitter we found in in the shop. Ah oh yeah, I can see the large pipes, okay. <gasps> we need to go down there I think. But first, I want to see where the other end of this cable goes. Oh, I think it goes to the radio tower. In that case, let's check out the other light. And I'm killing my light because I want to enjoy the shadows on this landscape, moonscape. That is a rock, I'm, I'm going to it. Sue me. Oh, that's beyond the invisible border. Okay, 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 okay. Whee! So, in other words, we can see far, but we can't uh, def necessarily go anywhere. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we can't necessarily go everywhere we can see. Okay, so here we have something, looks like a generator, a motor. Can I do anything with it? Uh, it looks like it should be open from the other side. Which means I have to go down there at some point. I am going to explore the rest of the town though, uh, before I go in there. Ooh. Ah, okay, invisible wall. very much fascinated by the uh, lighting logic and all that. 
Oh no, we're down in the trench again. Can I go through here? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to get stuck. Although uh, it appears that if I do get stuck, then I can go to the main menu and the game drops me uh, back at the, some waypoint. Okay, so we saw the diner, we saw the... Uh, we saw the radio tower, oh, but that's the water tower, not the radio tower. Is it not? We saw a mechanic shop. Does that mean we get to climb up here? Ooh, I, th I think it might. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, now now I ruined it. <gasps> okay, we don't have jetpack yet. Damn. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to go up there. But it would be fun. Fire escape is too small for us uh, with the spacesuit and everything. Oh, and trees. This would imply atmosphere and air pressure and, and all that. Yeah, machine shop we already went to. This one is illuminated. Can we go in? No. Uh, diner, we need a key. Radio. It doesn't look like we can go in here, at least not yet. Okay. In that case... We need a key to open this door. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I mean, I got you. Alright. Oh! Well, this doesn't look very human, does it? Yoink. Oh, and this leads us somewhere else where I don't want to go yet. Okay, let's see. Machine shop. Ooh, objects I dream about keep appearing to me after I wake. Funny, funnily enough, uh, in the first episode I discussed that. Uh, uh, with the crater and the moonlighting and everything, this uh, resonates uh, a lot with my current uh, work in progress, uh, namely uh, text revisions and uh, a bit of the uh, dream stuff crossing over to the waking world, although for a different reason, <laughs> is, is something else that resonates with that. from the town it would 
it seems so, yes. <laughs> Restore the town's location in space time. Huh. Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to understand what's up with the trench. And and there's something that uh, destroyed uh, stuff at the edge. And also the trees didn't originate from here. Well, fuck. This is locked. Hmm. Okay, where was the ladder that went down? Okay, it wasn't here, so where was it? To there? A side note, uh, this is the sort of uh, device thingy, uh, definitely echoes the stuff uh, from the first game. Oh, okay, the cable leads to the garage or workshop or thing uh, where, where I was before. <gasps> Rocket! I must. Oh yeah! Wee! Screenshot! Okay, one thing that uh, could be added is the bounciness of lower gravity. Uh, right now I think we've got just normal G. Again, I'm, I'm noticing because it's something that... Uh, something that uh, I try to pay attention in my text. Ooh, underground! Let's check notes as well. Do we get new notes? Search on the ground lab for a way to restore the power. Okay. I think I might have seen a little bit of this, uh, mm, this environment in a test bit. in a very, uh, very early prototype uh, bit of the game. Uh, there was a test puzzle. Let's see, what does it say? I am... Ah, I can't see it. I'm done... I'm done cleaning up your... messes. A janitor is still a person. I'm not your experiment. You sent me to that... Grey Desert. Uh, you watched me gasp for air. Why? I will never forget the smell. Like back charcoal. I'm never going back there. I quit. SC. Okay. Now we know. SC quit. <gasps> Red barrels. Go boom. I mean, maybe, maybe not necessarily here, but as a trope. Dr. Emily Watson, research scientist at the Muro Center. On Monday, my engineer suggested revising the power input. Somehow, this small modification initiated a runaway reaction, spawning a teleportation event and much greater scale than we imagined possible. Well, well, well. Uh, so this underground facility, was this here before the teleportation, or was it built here on the moon? 
big blue machine. Oh, I think we, we have to interact with it. No? Or maybe not. It looks interactable. Looks, looks climbable. Oh, this light is off. I wonder if the light will turn on once we interact with stuff. Yoink. Show me. Ah, this is what we heard. Back in chamber. Uh oh. Something is breaking reality. Oh, oh, that's the vacuum chamber. Okay. I wonder if we have to go in there at some point. Well, this looks interactable. Okay, but before I do, I wanna, I wanna go and check the other, uh, other thingy as well. Yeah. So I guess if I turn the uh, turn the valve then uh, the blue things will power up okay I can go up here I can go up here that's the thing I want to poke at stuff um, uh, or look at stuff in any order but I want to then interact with it in the correct order. Extra obtuse, I know. Okay, what's the new one X thirty four control room? Okay. So I take it the control room is this one. Oh no! Okay, I guess it needs power to work. What's this? Is this another note? Yes! Wait, so the underground complex was built on Earth or wherever and did teleport here and did. Okay, something something pressure. Ah yeah, now this light turned on. Okay, I was right. Whoosh! Oh, nice! <laughs> ah, what's the music? This is something uh, I appreciated so very much in the first game already is that when things uh, start getting going uh, then uh, the music picks up okay we can't get in here just yet oh yeah theme music. We must be getting close to something. So this is, I take it, this is the teleportation border. The lights must have been installed afterwards. No. 
Damn it! Go to the ladder. Which way? Do I need to align myself? Do I need to click on it? Oh, okay. Now you got it. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Okay, that's, that's, that's nice. I'm getting flashbacks to all the games where I have fumbled the letters and not been able to make the gaps. I so much appreciate that uh, it's been done for us here. Oh, inventory! Oh my! Uh, so... Okay. <gasps> Is this the diner key? Or some other? Uh, let's see, notebooks. Search the school. No, 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 you need to go down now. Can't stop now. The procedural music is on. Woo! Okay. School. Which one is the school? Uh, I think it's one. Uh, I think I bumped into it before. I'm guessing it's the one with the playground. Or maybe not. That might be the fire station. Fuck. I am not uh, too well versed in Americana, so I don't uh, exactly know which building is which, just by looking at it. That looks like residential. Ah! I'm just gonna brute force it. I'm just gonna bump into every door. Wait, there, there was a door that I bumped into earlier and it gave me a sound. No! Okay, let's take a look from farther away. Was it this one? No. No. I'm glad they didn't teleport a bigger area. Oh, okay, it's the one with the marked door. So, right building, wrong side. Yoink. <gasps> True horror. Okay, I'm guessing this one won't open. So in oh oh my so in big enough space we do get to walk around but with small ones we just click well then oh don't want to touch notes over there and something over there and then of course the chair let's go up the bleachers oh we can't go up the bleachers Amy 
Barry, Gerald, Fred, Sally, John, Joanne, Rebecca, Janet, unknown. Well, since since the scientist keeps leaving notes, I'm guessing she's not among them. Tell me you're seeing this. They're all frozen. Looks like someone gathered up the corpses and brought them in here. Seems like only the research scientists survived the teleportation event. Aha! Told ya. Another key. Yoink. I think that's the diner key. Okay, let's take a look at the notes. Diner. Docs, 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 docs. Personal letter. Oh no. Okay, and. Well, could be the chain doom. No. Well then. <gasps> you can't jump indoors. Okay. All right. I hate to say it's all making sense, but this has got to be related to that huge explosion out in the desert a couple. Ago. They thought an experiment at the research center destroyed half the town and killed a bunch of people, remember? They never found anything except a huge crater in the ground. Well, if my eyes are not deceiving me, the explosion wasn't really an explosion, but some kind of teleportation event that just transported everything to the moon. Oh no. Freak science. This seems uh, slightly different from the uh, first game's plot though. I think there the the Soviet town wasn't uh, teleported, it was... I think it was built on the planet. Can I get through here? Yep. So there, I think they teleported and they built the, the town deliberately and tried to mm, regulate the atmosphere and whatnot. Oh, flower bed. Ah, okay, so this is another place where we can't really move around. We just have to look around. And hear coffee or something. Oh, I think we can sit there. Can we sit here? Let me poke around very carefully. Oh. Bulletin board, some storage. Hey, that's the girl from the first game. Ailita was her name, I believe. What's this? Hiring dishwasher. Recipe. Larry. Experimental, I see. No, I don't want to exit. I want to... So if I have interacted... Oh, I think it uh, doesn't 
let me to check the board anymore. Okay then. It is the coffee maker. Um, so I will just stick a snorkel in it or something. Oh, menu. Bacon. Mm. I don't think I can interact with anything else, so let's check the notes. Must be more somewhere. Um, I'm guessing the vacuum chamber? Diner key. Oh, I think I can maybe put it somewhere. Okay, I have an idea. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? What the fuck? <laughs> Commander, you should never have let me fly that day. You knew I wasn't ready. Ah! Key is this? Okay, now I can look at here again. Can we pick up anything else? I don't think so. Here we are again with the coffee. Uh, I can sit there and I can exit. Okay, before I go and calm my nerves with I don't know tea or something, I wanna I wanna check something. So I think I figured out why everything is uh, so small. It's like a uh, uh, forced perspective thing. It's like it's only small when you are uh, smack dab in the middle of it, but when you look from a little bit farther away, then, then it's... Uh, then it's kind of right. Oh, I can't... Okay, so I think the uh, picture is what summoned the uh, creepy guy. Alright, oh, I need a break. So I am ending this episode here. I think I'm gonna record a little bit more tonight.
but I need a tea first. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!